The armed forces of Ukraine hit nine command posts, three ammunition storage points, an anti-aircraft missile system and 14 Russian artillery units in the course of the day. Source. General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine on Facebook. Information is of 1800 on the 6th of June. Details. The Ukrainian Air Force carried out 10 strikes on clusters of Russian military personnel during the day. Ukrainian rocket forces and artillery units hit nine command posts, four clusters of Russian personnel, weapons and military equipment, three ammunition storage points, an anti-aircraft missile system, 14 artillery units at firing positions, and 16 other key Russian targets. Over the course of the day, Russian forces conducted 35 missile strikes using KH-101, KH-555 air-to-surface cruise missiles. All missiles were destroyed by air defense personnel and assets of the Air Force of the Armed Forces of Ukraine. Russian forces also conducted 30 airstrikes and fired 43 times from multiple launch rocket systems on the positions of our troops and settlements. Unfortunately, there have been fatalities and casualties among the civilian population and damage to residential apartment buildings and private houses. In addition, Russian terrorists committed another war crime. In order to prevent our troops from advancing, they blew up the internal structures of the Kakaka Hydroelectric Power Plant HPP, overnight. This terrorist attack has left about 80 settlements in the flood zone. Russian forces continue to focus their main efforts on attempts to occupy Luhansk and Donetsk oblasts completely. There were 28 combat clashes during the day. On the Volyn and Polisha fronts, the operational situation has not changed significantly, and no Russian offensive groups have been detected. On the Severshina and Slobozhanshina fronts, Russian forces continue to maintain a military presence in the areas bordering Ukraine. During the day, they conducted airstrikes near the village of Ohertsev in Kharkiv Oblast. They carried out mortar and artillery shelling on Kamyanka, Karpovichy, Taimanovichy, Medvedivka and Halahanivka in Chernyiv Oblast, Saradina Buda, Shalaihain, Balfin, Hopivka, Basivka, Zapsilia, Myropilia, Myropilsky and Vlika Pisarivka in Sumy Oblast, as well as Sotnitsky Kazaka, Baranivka, Veteranarn, Vysoka Yarua, Streleka, Hatish, Sinelnikov, Sihelm, Sterija, Bovchansk, Zabin, Karaitni, Zarekni, Pekenehi, Budarki, Vilkuvatka, Chuhunivka, Mylov, Bliki Berlik, Odradna and Fyholivka in Kharkiv Oblast. On the Kupiansk front, Russian forces fired from artillery and mortars on the settlements of Novomlinsk, Fyholivka, Vorikna, Zapadna, Lyman Pershi, Kaislivka, Tabevka and Beristov in Kharkiv Oblast and Novosolivsky in Luhansk Oblast. On the Lyman front, during the day, Russian forces conducted unsuccessful offensive operations in the areas of Kremina, Bilohorivka in Luhansk Oblast, and Beristov in Donetsk Oblast. They launched airstrikes near Spurn, Vessel, Hurahorivka and Ivanivka in Donetsk Oblast. Nevsky and Bilohorivka in Luhansk Oblast and Verknikomiansk, Torsky, Spurn and Rozdolivka in Donetsk Oblast were hit by artillery fire. On the Bakhmut front, Russian forces conducted unsuccessful offensive operations in and around Klashivka. They launched an airstrike on the settlement of Bilahora in Donetsk Oblast. The settlements of Vashukivka, Malinivka, Tykonivka, Orokovo Vasilivka, Hurahorivka, Kalinivka, Ivanovsky, Stupochki, Bilahora, Oleksandro Shultin, Ozarianivka, Tereskin Pivnikny in Donetsk Oblast were subjected to Russian artillery shelling. The Russian forces did not conduct any offensive operations on the Avdivka front. They conducted airstrikes near the city of Avdivka. They carried out artillery shelling on Novokolino, Avdivka, Lastochkin, Bodian, Pervomaysk, Karlivka and Nevelsky in Donetsk Oblast. On the Marinka front, Ukrainian defenders repelled all 12 Russian attacks in and around the city of Marinka. At the same time, Russian forces conducted airstrikes within this settlement. Hostre, Maximilianivka, Hiorhivka, Marinka and Novomikhailivka in Donetsk Oblast were hit by artillery fire. On the Shikhtarsk front, Russian forces conducted airstrikes in the areas of the settlements of Vuladar, Bowaavlenka, Zolodaniva and Vlika Novosilka. They shelled the settlements of Vuladar, Prekostivka, Novokrenka and Zolodaniva in Donetsk Oblast. 
On the Zaporizhia and Kherson fronts, the Russian forces are on the defensive. They launched an airstrike on Olhivsky in Zaporizhia Oblast. Russian occupiers carried out artillery shelling on the settlements of Remivka and Novopil in Donetsk Oblast, Temirivka, Olhivsky, Poltavka, Malinivka, Huliaipol, Zaliznikny, Charivny, Bilahiria, Stepovan Kamiansk in Zaporizhia Oblast, Odratokamayanka in Kherson Oblast, in the city of Kherson. The Russian occupiers continue to use the infrastructure of temporarily occupied settlements to provide medical aid to their wounded servicemen. They recently set up a field hospital on the territory of a local school in the settlement of Oleksivka, Kherson Oblast. About 25 medical personnel are stationed there to treat occupiers who have wounds of varying degrees of severity. Over the course of the 5th of June, the Ukrainian defense forces killed 800 Russian occupiers and destroyed 12 tanks and 20 armored combat vehicles. Source: General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine. The War in Ukraine, an update from social media. A video shared by the Ukrainian military and later reposted to Twitter shows how Ukrainian forces continue to take out Russian military vehicles using grenades dropped from unmanned aerial vehicles UAVs. The clip shows how an operator from the Ukrainian air assault forces expertly maneuvers the drone, dropping a grenade directly into an open hatch on the vehicle. After the drone drops the munition directly into the hatch, it quickly rises into the air to escape the coming explosion. A small blast ensues that causes major damage to the inside of the vehicle. Ukraine Weapons Tracker, a popular war tracking Twitter account that shared the clip on Twitter, noted that the drone used in this attack is a commercially available drone. Given the huge number of drones donated to Ukraine's war effort, it's hard to say exactly what drone was used, however, it could be one of thousands of Chinese-made DJI camera drones already in use on the battlefield by both Russian and Ukrainian forces. The Ukrainian air assault forces destroyed a Russian MTLB armored vehicle with Zu-23-2 autocannon using an F-1 grenade dropped from a commercial drone, the post reads.